Hi, um, I'm Gadi. Uh, my nickname is Vivi. I'm from South Africa and I'm here in Computex 2015 to compete in G-School contest. Uh, what I do at home, uh, my job is uh, I make 3D adverts and uh, I build computers for colleges and so on. So um, that's my current occupation basically. I started overclocking in high school, uh, so uh, grade 9 I was about 15 years old and uh, one of my friends just started explaining it to me so I didn't try it myself, I, I was taught and then from there on out I just also wanted more and more and more and until it became extreme. Yeah, the reason I, I uh, tried some overclocking was because of crisis, just like most people. Uh, I, I played the game Crisis and my system just couldn't handle the game. So I just needed more speed and I had a dual core at that time and it could overclock quite nicely and I just got hooked on that feeling basically. Well, the highlight of my overclocking career would be last year actually, uh, where I, I came first place in MSI MOA 2014. That was quite nice. And then I went to Galaxy overclocking contest this shirt and um, I came second there against 8-pack and 8-pack did really well so I was uh, happy with my second. Well overclocking has changed a lot I think since I started because motherboard vendors have uh, uh, caught on a lot and they've started supporting the sport a lot more so a lot of things you don't have to do manually as much because the motherboard supports the settings so Overclocking has not become easier at all, it just has, it became more convenient and uh, user-friendly user in a way. Uh, so to push to the limits is easier in a way, but um, yeah, so the, I would say just because of the motherboard vendors jumping on the train helped a lot. I would say what changed from then to now is just more people. There's so much more people involved and the, the community online is more involved, so there's more people talking, you don't you don't have to do everything yourself, you can ask for help and I think there's a very strong overclocking community at the moment that are very good so you can talk to a lot of people to get advice. Well, uh, it's tough to say where overclocking is heading. Uh, I would say, <laughs> we all hope it's going somewhere, but um, I would say it'll just keep getting better. At the moment it's getting better slowly, I, I think it'll keep at its current pace until something unknown happens, something we don't have control over yet. So, like with the gaming, one day the prize was $100,000, next day the prize was $5 million. So it kind of got crazy really quickly. So I think once the user base of overclocking gets bigger and there's more noise around overclocking, I think that would change, change it a lot. Best advice for newcomers would be HWBot. Just whatever you do, Go to HWBot, post in the forums, try the benchmarks there, start, start by submitting scores to HWBot and, and speaking to people. The best thing you can do is just communicate. So you don't have to always have to try something by yourself if you're not comfortable doing it. Someone can tell you what can help you. So I think uh, if you're starting out, just uh, don't be afraid to overclock. Uh, it's fairly safe if you just stay within some boundaries. So I think just go for it and communicate. I've been to Taipei a few times and I enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy it because you feel safe here and it's easy to travel and uh, it's not that expensive compared to other countries and it's easy to get a visa. Visa is free for Africans. Yes. So that's easy and uh, I just enjoy the people because they're so kind. Uh, it's a nice place. I still want to bring my girlfriend here one day. <laughs>